What's up guys and welcome to another video. My name is Alex and this is Alex Rome. Yeah. This is Zorin OS 16.1, the latest version at the moment and it looks really good. After installing Zorin OS 16.1, here are 5 things you will need to do. First, check on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers. If they are not working, it turns out fixing that is quite easier than you think. Just go to the app drawer and click on additional drivers. Let it search for drivers. Select these proprietary drivers then apply changes. It will install drivers and you may need to restart your PC. Please note, you will need internet connection for this so you can either use Ethernet or share your phone's internet connection through USB tethering. 2. Battery percentage and power monitoring. To show battery percentage on the taskbar, simply go to settings, power, and enable show battery percentage. Also, battery statistics comes pre-installed, so you can check more details about your battery status from there. 3. You will need to configure your firewall. It may not seem important, but it is always better to be safe than sorry. To configure your firewall, click on firewall, pick a profile, then click here and drag to the right to turn on firewall. Set incoming traffic to deny and outgoing traffic allow. Four. Pick your preferred layout. By default, Zorin OS starts with a Windows-like layout. You can decide to continue with this or change it to another layout of your choice. To do that, go to Zorin Appearance, click on Layout and pick your preferred desktop layout. 5. While in Zorin appearance, you can change the theme accent color and the theme background. You can also change the icons. Under interface, you can enable animation and jelly mode. Lastly, you can enable desktop icons for home, trash, and mounted disks. You may also be interested in setting up Zorin Connect to link your phone to your PC, so you can manage your phone from your PC directly. And finally, be sure to update your system. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you on the next one.